Oh God, if I grow a beard, I'm going to be fuming. This is just another delightful shot. There's my, there's my thumbnail. Hey loves, welcome back. So it's time for another JML product test you trial opening, doing video. One day, I'll like say a proper intro. One day, probably never. I have been stalking the JML product stand in my local boots for what feels like weeks waiting for a brand new product, but wait no more. There is a brand new product and I'm really excited slash nervous slash my little pea brain is going, no, don't do it, about the Finishing Touch Flawless Dermaplane Glow. A lot of the JML products I've tried out so far have been to do with hair, either like trying to backcomb my hair, drawing on more hair, I think the most popular product when it comes to JML, especially the products I've tried, is hair removal, especially facial hair removal. I have high hopes with this one. It excites me a little bit because it's by Finishing Touch Flawless. My favourite JML product so far, hands down, was this Finishing Touch Flawless Facial Hair Peach Fuzz Remover. I use this all of the time. If you haven't seen any of my JML videos, I'll pop them in the description box so you can check them out. Before we get into it, I'm gonna crack open this bad boy. If you enjoy these kind of videos or you're interested to see how this goes down, hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It means the world to me and that way you won't miss me risking my face. <laughs> trying out lots of facial hair removers. The ironic thing is like, I don't really have a massive issue with facial hair, but nevertheless, here we are. And today we're gonna kind of shave my face and exfoliate it at the same time. Oh Lord. Dermaplaning isn't anything. It's been around for a really long time, but its popularity has definitely increased over the last year or so. What is dermaplaning, you might be asking? Dermaplaning is a cosmetic procedure that removes the top layers of your skin. The procedure aims to remove procedure. Oh, wow. The procedure aims to remove fine wrinkles and deep acne scarring as well as make the skin surface look smooth. Dermaplaning is safe for most people with a little risk of side effects when it's performed by a certified dermatologist. Dermaplaning provides deeper product penetration, removes soft facial hair that traps dirt and oils, promotes smoother skin. I was actually thinking about doing something really clever like here's a scientific bit and I was gonna like put on a, a white top, a white shirt and pretend that I was a scientist in a lab. But then I realized that I don't have any white tops and white shirts and uh, I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> but the thought was there, the idea was there. So I wanted to share that with you. So just picture that when I just read that bit out like, ooh, who is that clever scientist in her lab coat and specs? So traditionally, Dermaplaning is a salon treatment that you would do with a trained professional using kind of medical grade blades. But this interests me because I really like the idea of being able to remove facial hair and exfoliate at the same time. This has a bright LED light again, so you can remove facial hair in the dark. Um, and so yeah, basically it says there's an LED light technology so you never miss a hair with my eyesight. It's gonna take more than just an LED to make sure that I never miss a hair, but never mind. Built-in safety guard on the blades to help protect skin. That's, that's good to know. I've had a real battery issue with a lot of my Germa products, but this one says it includes one unit, six replacement heads, and one AAA battery. That for me, it's already winning because there's a battery in the box. Let's open it up. 20 minutes later. Oh, there's a little extra sticker. It says you are purchasing. Well, we've purchased because that's inside. So you'd only see that once it's been purchased, but you are purchasing a high quality exfoliating tool with a built in light, similar to those used by estheticians and dermatologists. Please watch our expert tutorial to ensure great results. Visit ah, rats. Do you think we should watch that? So there's a lot of leafletage. Quick start guide. Anyone else? Love me a quick start guide. It's not that I'm lazy. No, that's a lie. It's because I'm lazy. So, there's, there's the unit. It's very, very, very lightweight, I guess, because I guess it's just a blade. I don't know if I'm expecting it to vibrate or move. Uh, to insert battery, pull off cover. Pop 
pop that bad boy in. Oopsie. There we go. I don't know why I expected it to vibrate. I guess because everything else has made a noise and like that one whizzes around. This one doesn't whiz anyway. We've got a head on the unit already and then we've got, it appears to be six extra blades. Does it say that? Six replacement heads included. So you, you get seven. I wonder how many, how long they last for. It says for best results, replace after each use. Well, there's, there's the answer to that. On button. That's my SOS signal. Help me. Help me. After use, let skin rest for several hours. No creams or makeup. Looks like I'm going makeup free today then. Oh, okay, that's something to bear in mind. No creams as well. Mm. Then we've got a big booklet. It's a large thing. Price of first use, test on small discreet area. My face. Discontinue use of blah, 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 allergic reactions, blah, 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 blah. Contact your dermatologist if there are any concerns, blah, 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 blah. blah. Recommended for exfoliation, hair removal on forehead. I, I, I just, I've never known anyone to have a really, really hairy forehead. Above the upper brow, oh, I need to be careful. Cheeks, upper lip area and chin. It's recommended to dermaplane at night before bed to give skin time to recover. Well, it's currently 11.27 a.m. With one hand holding the handle, gently slide off the cover with the other hand. Gently. Pass over the same area only once. Oh God, I'm actually gonna have to concentrate. Damn it. After derm dermaplaning, let your skin rest. I might just lay down for the rest of the day and then my husband will come home and say, what have you been doing today? And I'll be like, I'm resting, resting my face. I hear you like, get on with it for God's sake, woman, and shave your face. Just some safety first and all that. Have you had a dermaplaning treatment at a salon done before? Or do you have another tool that you use for derm dermaplaning? If you have, let me know in the comments. There's four videos. Oh, for God's sakes. Wow. So that before and after is basically going to say, I'm going to look like a new person. This already feels like one of those infomercial advert product videos that you find on the TV at like three o'clock in the morning that you sit there going, oh my God, I need that. So they're going from jawline upwards rather than downwards. So we're going almost like against the grain of the hair. Oh God, if I grow a beard, I'm going to be fuming. These short feathery strokes while holding at 45 degree angle. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Ready? Okay. Oh, it said only go over the same area once. Oh, I'm sorry, skim. It's quite hard when you're using short feathery strokes to only go over your skin once. I can hear it catching hairs for sure. How do we know if it's removed hair? Hmm. This is just another delightful shot. There's my there's my thumb now. I'm not sure. I feel like I feel disappointed because I'm not being able to see any actual results. Like with this, I could open it up and clear out the ba the peach fuzz, and I was like, yeah, it works. I can see it with my very own eyes, but I don't feel like I'm seeing anything. I guess we should really bear in mind that I do use this often, so. My peach fuzz isn't at its full potential right now. Um, so I don't know if I'm giving this a fair test, but I haven't used that in a couple of weeks. So let's do the old forehead. It's got a little bit scratchy. It's not painful at all. Whoa, can you see that on my finger? Can you see that on my fingertip? There is definitely there, you can see there's definitely some dead skin and some dead hair there. There's not a massive amount. My face does feel a little bit tight almost. Like I feel like I need to put moisturiser on. I'm not sure if this is delivering enough results for me to, to sit down and concentrate. I know that sounds incredibly lazy, 
but I'm busy. Like I need stuff that works quick and easily that I can rely on, that I know works and that I'm not like, right, let's concentrate, let's sit down. Let's not apply makeup for five hours later. Let's not apply creams. Like that for me requires me scheduling it into my routine, having to think about it, having to think that I need to do it at this certain time of day. I know it says do it at night before bed, but for me, I'd absolutely want to put on a night cream. Otherwise, I'm going to wake up looking 500 years old and my skin's going to look like a dried old prune. And I might be wrong. And if I am, I stand corrected. But I do not feel like the blade on this is the quality and the sharpness needed to soften the appearance of fine lines. I feel like that is just something that you would only get by going to a trained specialist with a very, very sharp blade. I still love this, similar price. This may have been a bit cheaper, same company. I know this isn't designed to exfoliate or soften any fine lines, but I'm, face it, I just, I don't think that this is actually going to do that anyway. So when we're talking about pure peach fuzz removal, 100% this one over this one. I'll link this bad boy in the description box because I seriously think it's worth picking up. It's such a clever little tool. So there you go. Another day, another facial shaving video. <laughs> I need to maybe stop shaving my face for YouTube. Maybe I don't. Maybe I need to keep shaving my face until we find the ultimate facial shaver. Thinking of it, what is your favourite facial hair product or tool? It doesn't have to be a gadget. It could be a cream or a wax or whatever. Let me know in the comments what you love, what you can rely on. And I'd love to check it out. I'm always interested in trying new things. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I hope you have a wonderful peach fuzz free day. I'll speak to you really, really soon. Take care.